close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. All right, so today I have a video that I'm very excited about. It is a skateboard light. This is actually my nephew's skateboard. They are moving down the street and he is converting the garage into a bedroom. He is a teenager, so it's probably like the best thing any teenager would want. So I thought I'd make him something and I asked him for one of his skateboard decks. And I'm gonna make an epic skateboard light. So, actually what I didn't know is he gave me his very first skateboard. So, as you can see, this thing is very beat up. It's got a lot of scuffs on it. And I know to some people that would probably be ugly. For me, I think it's beautiful. And I really want to preserve this skateboard. I really want to keep like the memory alive within it. And I'm not really going to do too much to it. I'm going to lightly sand it. Um, I want, to, I don't want to sand it too much. Like I don't want to get rid of the scuffs because you know, those are memories. So I really do want to keep those. I'm just going to lightly sand it, possibly stain it. Definitely clear coat it and then I'm going to mount a gorgeous light to it I went and I looked up like exterior lights and I found one that I love this kind of light Which I am obsessed about I mean, let me just tell you I do not like the um, Bronze finish to it. So I may depending on what color like light color, the stain and the, the clear coat comes out on the board. I may spray paint this cage, but it's like a, it's I think considered kind of like a fisherman's harbor light. It has like a ribbed glass inside the metal cage and it also hooks as you see. So it's made to look like a hanging light and I just think it's going to look amazing. So. Here we go, I'm gonna go sand this baby. I'm gonna go stand this, sand, stand. I can't talk for shit. Hold me close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. Okay, so in the end, I decided on a varnish. This is an amber colored captain's varnish. It's super pretty, it brings out all the warm wood tones. Now, if you are smart, you will actually use a wood sealer, which I plan to do, and it is right next to me, but I was so excited to get started, I guess I just forgot that very important step. Once your varnish has kind of cured, you're not going to want to do this step because it's so pretty, but you are just going to scuff the heck out of it with some sandpaper. Um, you want to really make it a nice kind of white color on the top. Uh, you can kind of see there, but this will make it so your second layer will adhere to it. Without doing that, it will peel. And uh, before you put your second layer on, after you've sanded, you're gonna wanna wipe this down. I use mineral spirits and this will clean off any of the debris from sanding. This is my third coat, actually. I screened out my varnish. I literally strained out any debris that could have been in there. This is my final coat, so I wanted, wanted to make sure it's super clear super clean. Um, you're going to want to go slow until you can prevent any air bubbles and you get like a nice glass finish. And this is my light. This is what they call a bronze light. It looks brown. I'm glad I wasn't set on the bronze color. I wanted it more of a street light kind of lamp looking color. Um, so I decided spray painting was the way to go. Horizon. And 
there she is. I'm so glad I did. Okay, you're gonna wanna mark the middle of your board. And this part might seem super intimidating, but it's very easy, I promise. Um, what I did was I took the biggest drill bit I had and I just marked the middle and I drilled that baby out. Okay, so this hole is gonna be used to thread your light, to mount the light, but you're also gonna need a hole for your wires. So I did that about an inch above, just using kind of like a regular size drill bit. Once I drilled the hole, I kind of went around pressing my drill, um, you know, to kind of almost bevel it out, make it a little wider. And there you have it. It's that easy, it's super easy to do. You're gonna mount your light, and you're going to just thread the wires through. I didn't want to show the actual wiring part, but this is exactly what I used. You can buy them separately and thread it into your light. There are directions on how to do that. And ta-da! This thing is awesome. I'm so excited. I can't wait for him to see it. Um, I took pictures in the, in the at nighttime, but I wish I took you know more pictures during the day. It's going to be mounted on the wall, which obviously I can't show you because I'm waiting to do that until it goes in his room, but I couldn't be more excited. And on and on, we'll go.